Here at Paramore Park and all along Fire Tower Road, the city of Greenville is rehabilitating some underground infrastructure, improving its lifespan and saving money. You have corrosion that's created by hydrogen sulfide gas, which is the decomposition of, of raw sewage in the conveyance line. And also you have groundwater infiltration. So if you can eliminate those two problems, Corrosion, number one, you can extend the life of the asset well out into the future. And two, you can help the utility potentially save tens of thousands of dollars a year on treatment costs at their treatment plant. The project is working on 49 manholes in total on Fire Tower Road and across Greenville with a total vertical depth of 550 feet. Crews start by restoring the surface, pressure washing and drying before spraying their three layer system. And then we come back and we top coat again with that, that material is a polyurea and our, our trademark is a pink material. I'm, I'm sure you saw it. It's a bright pink. <laughs> And that is actually the layer that, that prevents any corrosion. So the three layer system itself, as it provides a mechanical bond and chemical bond to the substrate, is what prevents the, the water from infiltrating and, and leaking into the, uh, the structure. Maintenance like this now can prevent future more expensive fixes. Like I mentioned the failure, have a failure of an underground asset. It can be a huge expense and a huge inconvenience to the public to make that repair and here, we're providing a long-term benefit um, to the system to extend the life of their assets. The plan is to be completed with all 49 manholes along Fire Tower Road by the end of next week, weather permitting. In Greenville, I'm David Supis, 9 on your side.